I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers. Uh, we've had a lot of laptops to deal with recently with what's going on with um, COVID-19 and stuff. Um, everybody wanting to work from home. The current batch that we have in are HP 840G1 laptops. Um, now as we part of the refurbishment process we put new keyboards on them. Um, we've already done that for this batch but while we have them I figured I'd go through and um, show you how you can actually remove the keyboard from them and obviously refit the keyboard. Uh, if you'd like to hire us for any projects, please head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk. If you click on the Hire Us button, um, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. You can also find details on the website of who we are, what we do and some of the clients that we deal with. Um, with that out of the way, let's uh, head over and um, take a look at this laptop. So this is a HP 840G1. So we're going to start by removing the base. So if we really pull the release latch and pull the base. At this point, there's two screws for the keyboard. One here, and there's one here. If you can see that, they have a keyboard icon right next to the screws. So they're easily identifiable. So if we go ahead and remove the two screws, And the other one is here. So at this point, we've released the two screws and we're ready to release the keyboard. So in order to do this, This section here, we need to poke a screwdriver in, which will push the keyboard forward so we can um, get in and get at it. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Push in there. And that keyboard is now released at this side. Let me show you the keyboard's popped up slightly. Let's go ahead and remove that. And the keyboard comes off that easily. So, to replace them, we literally just lift the latch up for the trackpad and obviously the main keyboard connector. So, that was a pretty quick video. I just wanted to show you how the keyboard comes off of these while we had them here. So, let's put it back down, push the front feet in first, and then just push the clips back down. Well done. And well done. So the keyboard's reseated. If we go ahead and stick our screws back in. That is pretty much it. Let's put the case back on. Lock it back in place. And that's how you replace a keyboard. They're really easy to replace. Um, I, say I hope it helps anybody that's uh, looking to replace the keyboards on these things. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, go ahead and press subscribe, and if you press the notification icon, you'll get notifications of any videos that are released. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you.